If you're looking for the perfect hip opening routine, you're in the right video. I'm uh, the flexibility guy, Coach Ali. I'm gonna show you the best exercises you can use to stretch your hips and legs. Let's go. All right, guys, so to follow this routine, you just need minimal equipment. As you can see, I have some yoga blocks with me and I have a band as well. Now, you gotta understand that our hip joint can move in multiple directions, okay? But there are five movements that are really, really important, okay? Now, the first one is hip internal rotation. And uh, this means that your hip can move in, internally rotating the femur. When you turn your femur in, you move your hip into internal rotation. Vice versa, when you move it out, you move your hip into external rotation. Okay, so we have two movements here. Internal rotation of the hip, external rotation of the hip. Then we have hip flexion. That happens when you bring your leg closer to your torso. You lift your leg up. The other movement I want to show you is hip extension, which is kind of the reverse of hip flexion, rather than moving your leg toward your torso, you're moving your leg behind your torso, away from your torso. And finally, we have hip abduction, okay, which is spreading your legs apart. Now, you must consider that hip abduction can happen both when you spread your legs apart in front of you, when you spread your legs apart behind you, when you spread your legs apart like in a split, it depends, but each and every time you move your legs to the side, that is hip abduction. Ready? You're gonna follow this with me, okay? Go. So, first exercise we do want to do, spread your legs wide, 90 degrees, like this. From this position here, you want to keep your trunk as upright as possible, bring one leg in, and this is internal rotation, as you can see, lean, forward with your trunk and as soon as, as soon as you reach the max stretch you can handle then you can lift your hip and you let it go but keep looking in front of you with your body now this is one you come back with the first knee you reach the max height you can handle and then you start with the other knee as well and that's one rep and you do the, the exact same movement on the other leg so you bring it up wait until your knees are spread really far apart like this you wait you wait you wait now you go okay that's three beautiful that's four like this if you move your hips in front of you as you do this after some time you're gonna feel like damn it, like I, I'm walking forward with my hips, that's completely okay, that's normal. Just set yourself back every couple of reps. You do want to keep it slow, and really feel the range of motion here. This is six, right? Now, after six reps, you do want to stop on one leg. We're gonna work on this leg now, the internal rotation. The stretch, both when you stretch in internal and external rotation has to be mild. Okay, don't exaggerate. Now you turn your body as much as possible toward this leg, like this. We're gonna stay here for five breaths. Four, the more you pull, the more you're gonna feel the stretch really inside of your hip. Two, one. Now, you have an end on top of the knee. Try to push the knee up, slowly. One, two, three, hold the pressure. Four, five six seven eight nine ten all right now push it down instead try to force it and in order to do this you actually want to try to lift ha, your foot as well two three four five six seven if you have to lean lean nine ten whew. so if you have to lean to lift your foot that is okay and now get again into the stretch which as you can see is created by twisting my trunk to the side, moving my trunk to the side and leaning toward my bent leg here. The, the angle here has to be 90 degrees. 
three, we're gonna go five reps again, uh, five breaths again, four, whoo, and five, we change. Same job, other side, like this. So I move, lean, gently lean with my entire body toward my back leg. Try to feel this kind of pressure inside of my hip. And now I press my knee up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now other direction, I press it down and I try to lift my foot, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ha. Stop, inhale, exhale, I have five breaths here. Wonderful, fantastic. Four, yes. Three, mm -hmm -hmm. two, keep my trunk as upright as possible. One, lean and stop. Now we come back toward the first side. You do want to take the yoga blocks with you. Now you put one yoga block under your front knee, one yoga block under your front hip like this. Now you want to bend your front knee 45 degrees, so don't bring your foot too much in line with your knee because that is gonna be really strong as a stretch. You can bend it a little bit. Your back leg, now you want to extend it back as much as possible. So you can stop here, you can stop here, you can stop here. Depends on your flexibility. The more you can straighten it, the better. From here, now, second exercise, we're, go we're going to work on your hip external rotation. So not internal, this is exactly the reverse, external. Now, from here, first exercise we want to do is a dynamic one. You start on top, you extend your back as much as possible, you bring it down, press onto your hip, come back up, that's one, okay? Resist with your leg. Stretch, move your head in front of you as much as possible, two. Keep your body straight. And go. Three. At the bottom of the rep, there is where you want to feel the sweat. Four. Yes, press this hip down. And five. Now, touch the floor. What you want to do here, opposite hip toward the floor. Bring your body to the side and press it down. Now I have my left knee in front of me, I want to try to push my right pec onto the left knee as much as possible. This is gonna bring my hip into external rotation and stretch my glute as well, which is fantastic. After five breaths, and now is the time, you want to push your foot toward the floor, okay? So you apply a isometric pressure, so you press, Hold it there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You stop the contraction, inhale, on the exhale, you try to both bring your body down more, rotate more to the side, pulling your chest towards your knee. Now, the more you can straighten your back and push your head in front of you, the better. So it's not about going down. Can you see if I kind of curve my back, I'm gonna lose entirely the stretch. So, ah, back straight, head in front of me. And a pull, pull, pull. Remain here for another five breaths. This is insane on your glutes. And will drastically improve your hip external rotation. Now we shift, okay? Other side. So under your front knee, under your front hip. Front knee bent, 45 degrees. Like, you, actually you want to find your spot. If you have to bend it more, don't do it too much. Otherwise you're gonna kind of, you're not gonna work on the external rotation because the more you extend your knee, the more you force your hip into external rotation. So eventually you gradually want to move up, okay? Now from here, again, from here, we go down, stretch, 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 and one. Go down, push your head in front of you, two. Okay, go down, head in front of you, three. Excellent. 
Go down, head in front of you. Four, amazing. And now five, down, pull onto the knee, your opposite chest toward the knee. Hip down, two, breathe now. Head in front of you, straighten through the back. Wow, this is insane on your glutes, if you're doing it correctly. And five, now, contraction, push your foot toward the floor. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, inhale, exhale. Try to get deeper now, exhale. Push your head in front of you, straighten through the back, straighten through the back. This is really important, straightening through the back. Very, very, very important part of the process here. Beautiful. And five, excellent. Now you come back up. Wow. So, hip internal, hip external rotation. Done. Third exercise for your hip extension. So there's a little tip I can give you. If you want to start a flexibility session right, just work on your psoas. First things first. Uh, I got a band here because we do want to perform this kind of stretch, okay? So you start in a lunge like this, okay? And now you want to bring your hips down and grab your back full. Now, if you don't have the flexibility to grab it, you can use the band, okay? So you just wrap the band around your back foot, like this, okay? Hop. And you pull it, okay? Eventually, when you're gonna be able to grab it, you won't need the band anymore. But I want to give you options, all right? I'm gonna use it, okay? So, you want to grab the, the foot like this. I want to pull, yes, but also not only pulling, because as you can see, if I pull, but my hips remain up, I'm not gonna feel the stretch. I want to move my hips down. You can keep the other hand on top of a yoga block or on top of your knee. Now you move your hips down. The more you move, the more you pull. One, beautiful. Front shin bone is perpendicular to the floor, as you can see here. Two, fantastic. Three, four, and five. Now, contraction. You push your foot away from your glutes. So, that direction there, okay? And you push. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now you try to move your foot as close to your glutes as possible, like this. One, two, three, four, five, this is the same. Six, seven, eight, don't exaggerate, and ten. Otherwise, you get some serious cramps here. And now try to get deeper. In order to get deeper, remember, hips down, pull more. Two, breathe. Three, now pay attention to this, huh? Four, and five. Now you drive your front knee completely out, and you try to get even deeper with your hips, like this. One, wow. Two, excellent. Three, four, and five. Well, if you feel like it, you can also pull this way. This is a little more comfortable when you're gonna get more flexible. Whew, other side. So, now you can see the other side as well. Put the yoga block here. I start on top, so when I start, in order to grab the foot easily, I can start on top with my hips, as you can see here. But then, I do want to move my hips down. That is the priority there, okay? Keep your shoulders up, okay? So try not to fold your trunk forward. Keep your shoulders up. This will keep a nice balance between your quad and iliopsoas stretch. Three, 
excellent. Four and five. Now, contraction. I push the foot away from my glutes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now I try to almost release the foot and pull it over my glutes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh, one, excellent. Two, yeah, three, mm -hmm. four, and five. Now knee out. As you can see, as I drive my knee out, I can get a little deeper with my hips. Constantly pull your foot toward your glutes and drive your hips down. Two, breathe. Three, this is insane. Four, ho. and five. It's insane how this exercise here is <laughs> tremendously difficult. It doesn't matter your level. The beautiful thing is that you're not flexible. You're going to be able to do this. You're really flexible. Still pulls. It still stretches your hip flexors like crazy. So hip extension done. As you can see, hip extension. We're working on hip extension here. Now time for hip flexion. Okay. With hip flexion, we're going to focus on our hamstrings. So the muscles we have on the back of our leg. Now, um, the starting position, really easy. It's like a triangle position, as you can see here. Your back leg is slightly turned out. This will keep yourself in balance. Now I want to put one yoga block under my hand if I need it and bend my front leg. Look at this. Front knee is bent because I want to touch the knee with my chest. Once I have it, look at this. Hand on the floor or on the yoga block. The other hand here. So I kind of wrap my front knee with my arm and with my hand, I lock it on the opposite elbow. Straighten my back, head in front of me. Now from here, I straighten my leg as much as possible. This means that I want to keep the contact between my chest and my knee and I go until I can keep it. It may remain bent. For most of you, it will remain bent. This is okay. Keep it there and stretch. Trying constantly to straighten it more. You gotta feel it here in the back part of your leg. Two. Remember, don't curve. Back straight. Three. Head in front of you, I arch my back. Four, yeah. Five. And six. Now, look at the contraction here. I want to imagine as if I wanted to perform a deadlift, okay? Since I'm, I'm grabbing my foot, I'm grabbing my, my knee, I, I, I lift it, but I can't move. So I lift and this will contract my hamstrings, hold it there, hold this contraction for 10 seconds, four, three, two, one, and we stop, okay. Inhale, bend the leg, you're gonna relax a little. Exhale, keeping the contact between the chest and the knee, try to get deeper, try to get deeper. One, yes. Two, three, four, and five. Beautiful. Now, forget about chest in contact with the knee. Both hands down, straighten your leg. As you can say, if you're not touching with your chest with the knee, okay, doesn't matter. Push your head in front of you, straighten to the back. Two, breathe. Three, beautiful. If you can get deeper, gradually move your hands down. Four, five, 
and six. Now look at this. One hand in, I turn to the side and I try to get as deep as possible through this range of motion, which is torso on the same line as my front leg, okay? One, open the chest out and up. Two, beautiful. Three, get deeper. Four, and five. Wow, this is fantastic, ain't it? Now you want to do the same on the other side. So remember, I like the bent leg variation first because this stretches, the, this focuses the stretch really on your hamstrings, okay? So bend your leg, the back leg is straight, front leg is bent, head in front of you, bend the knee, and now extend as much as possible. One, yeah, remain. Two, breathe. Three, this is insane. Four, height. And five, remember the contraction. I push the heel down and move the trunk up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And stop, bend the leg, relax. Inhale, exhale, try to get deeper. It's important that when you perform the contraction, your leg has to remain in the max stretch you can handle. Because if you perform the contraction, but you lose the stretch, then the contraction like, has no point, okay? So you gotta be in the max stretch you can handle when you contract your muscle. Make sense? Stay, stay, stay. Mm -hmm. This is it, this is it, this is it. And five. Now, forget about leg in, contact, uh, yeah, leg in contact with the chest. You bring it up, doesn't matter. Straighten to the back, move your head in front of you. And now, get down. Yeah, like this. Two, breathe. Three, excellent, wow. Four, beautiful. Five, remember to straighten to the back, move your head in front of you for the best stretch possible, but keep your leg as straight as possible as you do this. And six, and now move the hand into the side, turn the trunk up, and now try to move the trunk toward the front leg. Turn your chest up as much as possible. Two, if you walk forward, you're gonna increase the stretch. Three, wow, keep your back leg straight. Four, yes. Five, breathe, wow. And six, wonderful. Now at the end of this, you can also kind of a couple of breaths. You just wanna go into a pike stretch standing like this. If you can touch the floor, you can touch the floor or put your hands on some yoga blocks. Just, you want to perform some pike squats, which means I bend my legs completely as much as I can. And then I move out and move up dynamically like this. One, I constantly pull my body toward my legs. Two, beautiful. Three, pull, pull, pull. Four. And now the last one, and we're gonna stay there for 10 breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Breathe. Seven. Pull, pull, pull. Eight. Nine. And 10. Okay, so internal rotation, external rotation, hip extension, hip flexion, our last one, hip abduction. To do this exercise here, you need a wall, okay? So let me change the perspective. 
and see you on the wall. Here we go against the wall for our last exercise where we're gonna be focusing on hip abduction, on our adductors flexibility, because when you spread your legs wide apart, you stretch your adductors. Now, imagine you had to face your biggest fear, which is you against you, and a side split, which is insanely hard. I don't want you to think about a side split. This is one of the best exercises you can do to work on hip abduction, adductors flexibility. It looks like a side split. Hands behind the glutes, because if you don't put your hands here, then you're gonna curve your back. You don't wanna curve your back, you want to extend your back as much as possible and drive your butt back. This is gonna pull your adductors and your hamstrings into the stretch. From here, move your hips toward the wall gradually. Put your hands behind your, your glutes, yeah, and spread your feet wide apart, like this. If you're not flexible enough to sit down on the floor and spread your legs wide apart against the wall, easy fix. Take a couple of yoga blocks and sit down on the yoga blocks instead. From here, spread your legs wide apart. Keep your hands behind your glutes, okay? This is how you want to do it if you're not flexible enough to keep your back straight and spread your legs wide apart. Stop wherever you feel the stretch, okay? And stay here. Now, tilt your chest toward the wall just a little bit, okay? And stay. One, breathe. Two, excellent. Three, yes. Four, okay. And five, now you push your feet toward the wall for 10, nine, you, eight, seven, hold the contractions, six, five, push, 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 four, three, two, one, stop, and now do reverse. Squeeze your glutes, bring your feet away from the wall. Now, actually, you won't do that, okay? They're just gonna remain there, but it's like, you wanted to do so, okay? So squeeze, try to bring them away from the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay, 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 stay. 10 seconds again. And stop, inhale. Now, to get deeper, raise your trunk up, raise your hips up, press with your hands. Now look at this, hips toward the wall. Uh, like a, make a little jump toward the wall and increase the stretch. Slide with your feet sideways, okay? So it's a combination. Feet out, hips forward. Feet out, hips forward. Mmm, okay, stay. Who's this man in the mirror? He's staring at me. I don't wanna look at the mirror, I'm afraid. Two, three, four, and five. Now look at this, guys. You want to take a yoga block if you need. You put it on the floor and you go touch it, okay? If you can, you just go all the way, okay? So you stop wherever you want. So you focus the stretch on one leg more. One, yes, two, three, yes, remain, four, and five, beautiful, other leg, tilt your body and stay, one, two, three, keep both of your hips on the floor, that's why you want to use the yoga blocks, if you can't reach the floor yet, and five, beautiful, and now five breaths, back toward the center to spread your feet wide apart the more the better two three try to feel if you have a stiffer side try to focus on that side more four and five okay gently get out and this is our one hip abduction exercise. Woof. All right, guys, I hope that 
you have enjoyed today's routine with me. We've been working on our hip flexibility like crazy, and I hope that you can see the results. Remember that if you have any questions or any doubts regarding the exercise we've been seeing throughout this routine, you can leave a comment down below. I do read all the comments, and also, if you appreciate the video, hit that thumb up button, okay? One last thing, if you want to follow routines like these, if you want to find flexibility programs, tutorials, and a full flexibility course, you can check out my Flexibility Guy app. That is the app you need. If you want to work on your flexibility, not only your flexibility, you're gonna find handstand tutorials in there, bodyweight trainings, and plenty of flexibility exercises, videos, and explanations. And you can check it out following the link in the description down below. With that said, Thank you so much for staying with me today. Have a nice stretch. See you in the next video. Bye. I traveled all the way to Japan in this place of silence and peace to find out the secrets of flexibility training. I'm in this temple right now because here is where I believe it's hidden the secret I'm looking for. It gotta be somewhere around here. What? A book? Nani? Honwa? Secret Deska. Amazon de kaimasu ka? Oh, so ka. Arigato Stretching modern flexibility methods is the complete playbook to master your flexibility, and you can check it out on Amazon right now. Huh? It works! It works!